many times in life we some we see something very evil or bad happening and we decide not to do something about it fellow <laughs> toastmasters and guests most of the time we do that recently i went out to my friend's house he's a wealthy friend and when i rang the bell a servant came out and he asked me to be seated in a very big drawing room it was all lit up with chandeliers and he told me that mr kashif is not at home you must wait for some time he'll be back as i was waiting i noticed that this is a big house and as i cleared my throat my voice echoed back at me so i wondered <laughs> this is a empty big house while i was sitting there suddenly a loud shout came from the background are you crazy what are you doing don't you know this this dress as i wore it in last week and you are giving this dress to me again next time you forget this i will throw you out of the house and i wondered there is something very bad happening in this house somebody is taking a scolding of this sort of nature so i decided to find out what is going on as a servant came to serve me tea i asked him who is the recipient of this scolding can you tell me so he told me sir there is a old lady she is a housemaid and she is very old she has served this family from a long time while she was young now she is old she keeps on forgetting things and she cannot quit her job because she is the sole breadwinner of her family so i thought i was heartbroken and i was shattered i thought i must do something about it so i waited for my friend and my, when my friend came i thought i should persuade him to do something about it to find a solution about this problem and we talked and i talked about everything else i was so emotional and i was angry but i decided to do what any sane and sensible man would do it in a situation like this i didn't even mention the thing but while driving back to my house i was constantly thinking like i was guilty i committed a crime my silence was criminal and there was one story that kept on repeating in my head again and again this story my teacher told me it was of a emperor who was so self obsessed with himself that he used to change clothes after every couple of hours and all his advisors would use flattery to please this king and one day two thieves two conmen they came to the city and they wanted to sell a very special piece of fabric to this king they went inside the palace and in front of the king they started their pitch one of the thieves took out a piece of fabric sir this is not a ordinary piece of fabric i have brought this cloth all the way from persia and while i was there in an ancient market i instantly knew that you are the king who can know the exact value and worth of this special fabric it is not normal it is very special because only the high borns and the well educated and the sophisticated and the smart people will be able to see this and all the low borns and the stupid and uneducated folks it will be invisible to them now king he could not see anything but he could not confess so he asked all the advisors what do you think about this clothes as usual all the advisors said wow what a wonderful piece of cloth we are sure you would look majestic after wearing it so the king ordered both the thieves to stitch a very special dress for him a gown which he will wear in a annual parade so after 10 days the thief came back to the palace again and they were pretending like they were holding a big gown one of the thief was holding a front side while the other was holding the back side and they entered the palace and they presented this gown to the king and the king looking nothing except air and he said wow it is beautiful <laughs> so one of the thief said since this is a very delicate piece of fabric we suggest you should not wear any <laughs> undergarment so the king went inside the room when he came out all the all the advisors they said wow how beautiful you are looking you are the best king among all the kingdoms and all and both the thieves took some treasures and rewards and they and they left 
when the parade started all the people were able to see that the king is half naked but not one single person would dare to speak up and there was a little kid in the crowd who shouted the king is naked the king is a fool and, and the crowd went berserk and everybody started laughing and shouting king is a fool king is a fool and for the first time in his life the king was left ashamed sometimes all it takes is one little voice here at toastmasters we are given the confidence to use this voice effectively we are given the tools and the skills to speak up when it matters but may we find the courage to speak up when everybody else chose to stay silent never underestimate the power of your voice because one curing small voice is more powerful than thousand silent men toastmaster